hi guys welcome back to my channel um i am going to be sharing with you my favorite nude lipsticks of all time once i find a lipstick a nude lipstick that works i don't really veer far from the path like these are curated through probably the last i want to say six to seven years um, I've curated this lot of nude lipsticks. It is very hard to find nude lipsticks. It is a very personal task. Every single person is going to vibe with a different nude lipstick. It really depends on your hair color, your skin color, your eye color. Are you warm tone, cool tone, neutral? What are you wearing? Like, nude lipsticks are way more complicated than anyone would think. I'm going to start off with liners. I'm going to go to matte, then I'm going to go to lipstick, I'm going to go to gloss. I would say all of them are not drugstore. None of them are drugstore, I should say. They are, you know, in the prestige and above kind of category, but I've, I've never had a nude lipstick I like from the drugstore I guess I don't know I've tried several anyways let's just get started so the first one I'm gonna be discussing is Bobbi Brown beige lip liner this is the greatest lip liner of all time this is the color that got me started on nudes in the first place this is what it looks like very neutral neutral undertone so what I like about this color is you can really just you can wear it during the day this is a type of color where if I'm just kind of like running errands and I don't have any makeup on, I throw this on and all of a sudden it just like takes my look up a level without kind of obviously looking done up. You can kind of overline your lips with this color because it is so close to the color of my natural lip color. And it's just like a really, it's like a neutral beige, it's like a true neutral beige with like a, almost like a warm terracotta undertone. So the next product I'm going to demo for you is another Bobbi Brown lip liner. This is called Nude. And you can't see any of the writing because something spilled in my makeup bag. I don't know. It's this one right here. It is a darker, um, darker color than the beige we just tried on. Um, a little bit darker. It is truly one of the most amazing liners I've ever experienced in my entire life. Now, overlining your lips, I feel like it's easier with this because it's a little bit darker. So you can really camouflage where the line of your lip is. It's almost an exact replica in terms of tone as this one, but it's just deeper. And it's just the perfect, neutral, spicy liner that it's so universal. I can wear this every single day of my life and be happy. Ta-da! Tell me it's not the perfect nude. It complements, when I had dark hair I could wear this, and now that I have blonde hair I still can wear this. Um, it's just complementary to my skin tone, my eyes. I feel like it's just, it ties everything together. It's a little bit deeper than the beige so it gives you like a little bit of a pop of color it's beautiful under different lipsticks if you want to wear this and then layer it with something for like a long lasting type of look or if you just want to wear this alone or put some you know lip gloss on top just like a clear coat of lip gloss on top it is stunning the next nude i have for you guys is Oh my god, there is nothing that can compare to this color. This is one of the first nudes that I literally wore every single day 
the year that I got it. I think it was 2016. I wore it literally all of 2016 and all of 2017 and I was like, oh, I can't find a color that compares to this. This is Candy K by Kylie Cosmetics. I used to have the liner as well. I lost it. Um, this is a matte lipstick. This one right here. So it's a little bit pink. More pink than the other two, but still like a neutral, like very light toned brick color almost. And this I used to wear every single day when I had dark hair and now that I have light hair, I feel like, I mean, it still is super pretty with dark or light hair, but it's just like that perfect neutral, like a little bit warm, pinky brown that looks good night or day. Her matte formula is bomb diggity. If you've never tried Kylie Cosmetics matte lipstick, bitch, go get one. The formula is like, she was the first matte formula I tried. This is when mattes were just starting to become pretty hot. And every single matte formula I tried was like sticky or tacky or just like faded over time. Not this. This formula is next level. I have zero zero issue wearing it no transfer like it's not tight it doesn't crack it stays all day it's so bomb candy k classic okay so the next one is another kylie cosmetics product this nude is very 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 unique and very wearable i don't wear it as much as candy k um i feel like i wear it more now that i'm light haired but this one is called exposed and it's a really pretty neutral, neutral, cool toned, like terracotta. I really like pairing it with the beige. So um, with matte lipsticks, you want to, you never want to put too much on. So you kind of just want to do one layer, one coat, and then let it dry. So you see? No transfer. This will wear all effing day. It's just fantastic. I love this color. So the next color I'm going to try is a color that I don't really wear during the day. I wear this at night because it is a very, very, very light nude. This color looks good with a dark smoky eye and like nude lip type like Kim Kardashian type look this is myth from Mac it's the perfect very light terracotta nude lipstick do you see a theme here I like neutral ter terracotta spicy nudes this one's really easy to apply compared to the last few that I applied um, it's just it's very light but this is like a sexy um, sensual type of nude lipstick that's just gonna make you look like a seductress Wow that looks funny so do you see how with like a very like if I was especially if I had a tan or like um, bronzer blush smoky eye lashes hair do you see like I'm painting the picture for you do you see how good this nude would look very light pink nude right there but in this light it clearly washes me out but I painted the picture for you so you understand I feel like there's nothing like Myth by MAC. I feel like there is no other nude lipstick that I have found that is this tone. It's kind of like a, um, a very neutral pinky beige that's literally lighter than my foundation. The next color I'm going to show you is also kind of, I would say, more of an evening color not more of it's for sure an evening color it's along the same lines of like very pale 
very nude where you would want to do like a very smoky just like a smoky brown or like red undertone eye with like lashes and that type of look with this color it's right there so it's about the same shade as myth in terms of like lightness but it's more of a yellow undertone and myth is more of a pink undertone Oh, I just love this color. It's bomb. It's by NARS. Oh, sorry. It's by NARS and it is called Matteray. I hope this is a lipstick. I think it is. It's by NARS. So it's like that perfect beige Mmm. Bitch. I feel like this is um, like my beige, only paler. Oh yeah, it just makes your lips look slutty, you know what I mean? Alright, so this, as you can see, is very, very pale, and you want to um, potentially layer it hypothetically with another lip gloss I have here that I'll show you in a little bit. I like layering it with another like very, very light, light pink lip gloss just to give it that extra oomph. But um, by itself, it's amazing too with, as I said, you want to definitely play up your eyes and your cheeks and maybe your titties with this, with this lip color. Almost onto the glosses. We are going to talk about this Lancome... Um, this is a brand new line. This is number 274. This is one of their brand new lip lines. Um, this is a combination of like it's a combination of gloss and matte. So it's pretty dope formula. When you put it on, it looks shiny, but it's not sticky like a gloss. It's pretty sick. So it's definitely more brown than the other lip products I've shown you it's on par with Bobbi Brown nude which is the second one right here when it actually like dries down and is pigmented it's pretty much on par I usually match those two together this is really easy to wear too I usually just line with the nude and then fill in with this no stickiness at all and it's kind of like it's it's not totally opaque it's like a little bit see-through and this color when I found it last fall I was like I feel like the sky is parted and I heard angels singing like this color just gets me going for some reason I don't know why the moment I saw it, I was like, I need that. It's like the perfect brownie. It's like a little bit more brown than the other colors I've shown you. The next product is called Undressed by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is um, a very, it's like a cool toned beige with like yellow undertones as well. This is going to be a very, very opaque gloss. Uh, there is nothing like this. Nothing like this color. It smells like straight up paint when you put it on. It is so thick. Um, I would like to wear this with a good liner. Probably my beige liner from Bobbi Brown. Because that's what I wear with everything. But as you can see, it's just a very, very light, almost like a honey beige. Definitely, I would never wear this with my skin tone. I would never wear this completely bare face. Like, I need to have some sort of, like, eye look going on or, or something. So I just recently got this gloss, actually. It pairs so good with my exposed liner. This is, like, a really nice... Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. nice honey neutral as you can see this one right here 
is Elemental Forces by MAC, the one I just applied, and this one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Undressed, which I forgot to show you in the last swatch. Okay, and this is Charlotte Tilbury Seduction. It's a really nice, neutral, honey-toned, really wearable gloss. It's not like completely opaque. It's like a little bit see-through. And it's called Seductress. So, you know I'm about that. Mm, 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 mm. This just feels so good on the lips. It is such a nice, like, honey tone. And uh, it's really good day, daytime, just like kind of casual look. That's how I wear it. You see how I'm having like less and less to say because I'm like, okay, bitch, I gotta go. It's like, this video's taking a while. But I mean, how much can you say about a nude lipstick as well? Like I've already said honey and spice and neutral throughout this whole video one million times. So it's like a really, really nice nude lipstick. Let's just put it that way, a nude gloss. This is my pride and my joy. This is Buxom White Russian. This is one of the hottest lip gloss shades. I think every single person needs to own this. It doesn't matter your skin tone. It's a really nice sheer pink. It's a really nice sheer cool toned pink and it has a plumping effect. This very honestly looks better when I have a tan. Ooh, it's tingling my hand. It's this right here. Oh God. Talk about sexy lip color. This one is super hot. Yes, come to me. That's how I feel when I put this on. It's just so hot, day or night, it looks fucking hot over this NARS one. The color combination of the two of these is just, yes, I just love that. It's so pretty. Um, that is white Russian layered with Mater D, however the hell you say this. All right, I do want to give a shout out real quick to the Candy K lip gloss, which I'm not going to demo for you guys. I tried on the matte, but the lip gloss is super pretty too. And I want to put it on my hand so you can see it right next to the matte. The gloss is obviously a little bit easier to wear than the matte. But it is right there. So I would definitely put that, rank that right, you know, up there with the matte. So the last product I'm going to show you is a product I discovered this summer. During a time when I wasn't wearing much makeup and I was like, I need some spice on my lips, something that's going to just make me look like I'm trying even though I'm not trying, that type of feel. So this is Moscow Mule by, by um, Buxom. It is, uh, first of all, it looks nothing like a Moscow Mule, but it is pop in it looks a little bit darker in here it's like a brown red copper it looks so hot with like a copper brown smoky eye or just if you literally wear no makeup for the day this looks good as well with makeup or no makeup nighttime daytime whatever and it also has that tingle effect So this is like a definitely more copper than the other colors I've tried on. So it's it's sheer enough where you can wear it every day, but it's still, it just brings out, I feel like it brings out the best in my skin tone and teeth and eyes. I feel like it just pulls it all together. It's almost like this, only with a copper flare. This is the Nude by Bobbi Brown. It's almost like that with like a copper sheer tone flare it's also kind of like this well let's be honest they're all kind of similar but a little different 
so yeah that is moscow mule by buxom it's super hot great for if you're just chilling or if you want to dress up and go out so these are my favorite nude lipsticks of all time i hope you really enjoyed this video please subscribe so you don't miss any videos like this in the future please give this a, this a thumbs up if you found something you like today and i will see you in the next video bye welcome back to my channel fucking ugh. um okay Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am excited to be discussing my favorite nude lipsticks of all time. I'm going to put them on for you so you can see what they look like on my skin. Um, the fuck, there's something in my eye. Intros are so hard. Intros are truly going to be the death of me. So, is it just me? All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So, I wanted to make this video because nude lipsticks are, for me, they... Oh, I need some fruit boost. Like, for sure. For sure. 